Now look at them and say, come in, neighbor. I know Satan trying to get you. I know he seems bigger. I know he seems better. But look at them and tell them, you're gifted. You're more gifted than him. And because he can't do nothing else to destroy you, all he can do is bully you. But I need you to look at them and say, whatever you do in this season, keep your head. Oh, my Oh, God. I feel a church here. Let's get ready to call for some stuff. I feel the people here that's getting ready to advance. I feel the people getting ready to go to another place. If your neighbor don't get it, help the other intercessors be intercessors for others. And find about five people and tell them, neighbor, whatever you do in this season, tell them don't lose focus. But say, neighbor, keep your head in the game. Say, oh, neighbor, if you can keep your head in the game, tell them you're going to win no matter what it looks like. If you're going to keep your head in the game, you're going to advance no matter what it looks like. If you keep your head in the game, you're going to overcome no matter what it looks like. I don't know tonight who I'm preaching to. Stop by to tell you, nay, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ who loves us. Please do me a favor tonight and grab your neighbor, grab your neighbor, grab your neighbor by the hand and say, nay. Grabbing your hand because God, He's getting ready to move you to another level in here. It might be hard, but keep your focus. It might be rough, but keep your focus. You might be discouraged, but keep your focus. It may seem like the enemy is winning. But I come back to tell you to keep your focus for we walk by faith and not by sight. It looks hard here, but I come back to tell you that the Lord is going to be your guide. The Lord is going to be your strength. The Lord is going to be your advancement. I hope tonight you ain't let that neighbor go. Look back at your intercessor and say, hey, intercessor, don't break down before you break through. You might be down, but tell them breakthrough. You're too close to the finish line. Breakthrough. You're too close to your miracle. Breakthrough. You're too close to the promises of God. Breakthrough. You're too close to your release. Breakthrough. Because if you break through, God, He's getting ready to use you to shift everything that's around you yes can i tell you what? you gonna shift what's around you it's because you are radical revolutionist please please look at somebody around you and say neighbor you better get ready because you're going to shift everything around you. Your family, shift. Your job, shift. Your money, shift. Your mindset, shift. Your church, shift. Everything that's around you now. He's getting ready to use you to shift it. Yes! Can I tell you tonight? 
it won't always be like this God is going to perfect that concerning you sooner than later It's turning around. It's turning around. If you know it's turning, you ought to turn for a brand new level. If you know it's turning, you ought to turn for another dimension. If you know it's turning, you ought to turn for what God is doing. It's turning around. It's turning around. It's turning around. It's turning around, yeah, it's turning around for you, yes, turn, 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 turn church, turn till you feel the breakthrough, turn till you feel the advancement, turn till you feel the glory, yes, the Lord is moving you to another place in him. I got a close. I got a close. I got a close. But before I close tonight, tell him, name the reason he going to use you to bring revolution is because you are not like anybody else. Tell him, name what makes you different is you got an anointing upon your life. If you don't mind, 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 grab that name by the hand tonight and say name. Cause your hand is your life and your life is like an olive and in order to get some oil he gotta squeeze it till the oil come out squeeze that neighbor's hand and say neighbor I'm squeezing your hand cause oil is coming out of your life the more I squeeze, the more anointed you shall be. Y'all ain't squeezing nobody's hand. Tell him, come on, neighbor. I'm squeezing your hand because you anointed for your generation. I'm squeezing your hand because you anointed for where God's taking you. I'm squeezing your hand because the Lord is going to use you in 2023 like you've never been used if you know the Lord going to use you I dare you leap like you're leaping out the old I dare you leap like you're leaping out of pain I dare you leap like you're leaping through something cause the Lord is going to give you release John saying is this you or shall I look for another yes but before it was over he made the statement I gotta decrease so he can increase yes all I'm trying to tell you is some time for the Lord to take you higher you gotta decrease you gotta decrease you gotta decrease you gotta decrease can I tell you how you decrease in your pain you decrease in your suffering you decrease in your hell you decrease but don't worry about it I heard Peter say after you suffered a while I'll strengthen you I'll establish you I'll make you perfect I heard Paul say count it oh count it oh joy 
when you fall in the time of temptation knowing this that the trying of your faith work in patience but let patience have a perfect work I told you once and I'll tell you again for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared give me everything to the glory shall be revealed I went through hell but glory is coming now I had my pain but glory is coming now I had backstabbers but glory is coming now please do me a favor and grab that neighbor tell a neighbor I'm grabbing your hand because God he's getting ready to pull you to another dimension for the hell he gon' pull you to another dimension For the pain you cry He gon' pull you to another dimension What you suffer He gon' pull you to another dimension Look back at them and say How do you know I'm going to another dimension Tell them cause I'm going to another dimension And when I go with me. Pull, pull that name. Tell them, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where we're going. We're going where I have not seen and ears haven't heard what God, he's getting ready. He's getting ready. He's getting ready to take me to another level. Shout it out! All my radical people, I know we tight. I know you ain't got room. I know there's no space. But say, neighbor, if you're radical, we gon' shift where we are. Give that neighbor and start shifting. Shift it with your praise. Shift it with your hallelujah. Shift it with a new level. Shift it like the glory is coming. Shift it if you gotta leap. Shift it if you gotta run. You gotta scream, shift it, 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 shift it.
listen. I told you that you was your neighbor's intercessor. Then not too. Did you get that instruction? Now look at him and say, neighbor, if you're my intercessor, say your job is to push me. Now look at him and say, hey, you're too close. Oh God, I feel the anointing in here. Tell him you're too close to your new place in God to sit and stare at me, praise him. Say, but neighbor, I'm getting ready to grab your hand and we getting ready to go to bucking in here because as we buck, something is shifting in your family. Something is turning in your house. Something is shifting on your job. When I holler Jesus, I don't care if you get on your neighbor's nerves, but I need everything in here to dance. Leap, run, shout, dance. the areas of your influence. 